Hello everyone and welcome to the lecture on adding text. In this lecture we'll see how we can add X and Y labels, titles, text and annotations. If you haven't, please import NumPy and Matplotlib's PyPlot. Once we do that, we'll look at the sine and cosine function we've been looking in the previous lectures. So we have our X values and for our y values, we have defined and used the cosine and sine functions. What we'll do next is use matplotlib's plot method to plot a cosine graph, x versus cosine. Let's do that. So plt dot plot, then we'll pass our value for the x-axis and for y for our y-axis we'll use the cosine function and let's use a color of let's use a color of red and line width let's make it 3.0 let's run this so we have a simple cosine graph what we'll do next is how we can add X and Y labels. So to add X and Y labels, we simply call the X label and then Y label methods. Let's see that. So I'll copy this part, paste it here, and then we simply call plt that X label and then pass name for our X label. Let's say X axis for instance. And for our Y label, we'll call the Y label method and then pass. So this will be what? Cosine of X for our Y axis. You can pass whatever you want. Okay. Cos X. Let's run this. So now we have X axis and then a label for the Y axis, which is cosine of X. Or you can simply say X, Y whatever suits you best. Next, we'll see how we can add title. For that, we can call the title method. Okay, so I'll go here and then call the title method and pass the title. Let's say graph of X versus cos X, for example. Okay. So that will be your title, graph of x versus cosine of x. Another thing we can do is we can change the default values for our labels. We can pass attributes to this x label or y label methods. For instance, we can change the font or color of our label. Let's see an example of that. I'll copy that, paste it here. So we have plt.x label, x axis, and we can change the font size by passing the font size attribute. Let's say 15 maybe. And then if you wanna change the color, you can pass the color attribute. And let's set it to be maybe green. And for our Y label, we can do the same thing. Font size is equal to 15 and color. Let's make it blue. If we run this now, so we have label for our X axis is in green and label for our, for our Y axis is in blue. Okay, you can do that. Another thing we can do is we can pass the grid method by simply calling the grid method and then set it to be true so our figure will have grids see we have nice grids now you can do that if you don't want the grid you can just comment this out but to pass a grid we can you simply call the grid method and then pass the value through Next, let me show you how we can add annotations. 
annotation for instance if I want to point out this maximum value here so the maximum value occurs when x is 0 right so if I want to annotate this and then write down some annotation we can do that by calling the annotation method let's see that so plt that annotate that's the method and then pass the text that we want to display for an instance this is one maximum value and then where do you want the text to appear so you'll pass the xy location the xy so for our cosine of x it happens at one maximum value occurs at x 0 1 which is when x is 0 and y is 1 that's one maximum value so we pass the xy attribute to our annotate method and then there's another attribute known as xy text so this will the text will appear at this specific um, xy value so let's pass we can adjust this later on for now i'll pass let's say 5 and 0 0.5 maybe and then the last attribute we want is the arrow props attribute so arrow props so this will be the arrow that will point this maximum value for our annotation so for our arrow prop we'll pass a dictionary and then we'll use the dictionary method and pass color and there's another attribute known as sh shrink let's pass those so we'll call the dict method and then pass the face color attribute and we'll set the face color to whatever color you want for your uh, arrow let's say black let's put the arrow props attribute on a new line okay so face color we have black and the second is called shrink and this will control the thickness of your arrow let's pass 0 0.09 maybe okay let's run the cell and see what it looks like okay looks okay right so here you have your annotation and then it says this is one maximum value right and let's change the position so you can adjust to where you want it to be displayed okay let's see if I change this to 7 and maybe 0 0.3 and let's change this 0 to 0 0.14 and run it so that's what we have this is one maximum value so you can change this the position for your annotation okay for instance let me change this to maybe 2.5 and 1.5 and run it okay this could be better this is one maximum value so you can play around with this and see that you get a better position okay great thank you everyone and i'll see you at the next lecture